So if I have a truth table or three input, okay, I need to have eight cells. And it doesn't matter whether I orient it horizontally or vertically. I can do it either way I want. But I need to, I'm going to make a truth table. Okay, and I got to have eight cells. All right, so let's say that our variables were A, B, and C. I typically would put not A, not B, not C here. You can do it whichever way you want. So this one's easy. Not C, I can change one thing, so I'm going to change to C here. As I move down, I could change A or B. It could be either one. So let's look at what that might look like. If I change B, I'm going to leave not A the same, and this one will be B. Then as I move from here to the next line, I can only change one thing. If I change B again, I'm going to be right back to this term. So I want to make that one A, B. Okay, I can't change them both, so I can't make two changes. All right, so move from here to here, A change, B stayed the same. K-maps don't work if you change more than one term at a time. Now we do A, B. Okay, which one haven't I had? Well, I need to leave A the same this time, and I need to change B to not B. Now when you've done this, you should take a second and look from this term to this term. Okay, because uh, K-maps wrap around as well. So as I move from here to here, only one term should have changed. So not A, not B, A, not B. The B stayed the same and the A's changed. All right, let's look at another way I could have made that exact same truth table. So I've got my um, same deal here. And I've got my squares. I could have made it this way too. What if I'd done this? Not A, not B, not C. I change to C here, and this time instead of changing B, I'm going to change A. Alright, so keep B the same, change A. Alright, now as I move from here to this one, this address, okay, I'm going to do what? I'm going to leave A the same and change B. Alright, and then as I move from here to here, what am I going to do? I'm going to change A keep B the same. Now as I look from this line to this line, only one thing should have changed. So I got not A, not B, I've got not A, B. That's good for me. All right, so that gives you an idea a little bit about how that works. Let's look at one more thing here. If I am here, and just think about what this really looks like. So this is the address that corresponds to the term not A, not B, not C in the K-map. Well, which one's this one? This is A, B, C. What about this? This is not A, B, not C. This one is A, B, C. And you see I can go through over and over like this changing. Now let's look at one more example. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a, let me erase that stray mark there. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to um, using a new way to write on this, and I'm having a little trouble. Sorry. Oops. Still didn't get it. Okay, there it is. So let's do, if we had a 4x4, four, four, four inputs, okay? So I need 16 squares. Right? So i got to have, when I do a 4x4, four four, going to look something like that. And let's say that we had A, B, C, and D. A, not A, not B, not C, not D would be how I would do it. Now as I move from here to here I can change one but not both. So I'm going to change D, not C, D. I've got to change one again. Okay, I've already done not C twice so it needs to be C that changes this time. D stays the same. Can't change them both. Right, so I changed C the last time, I gotta change D this time. C, not D. Right, now we're gonna go on and do the same thing here. So I got not A, B. Okay, now I'm gonna have A, B. 
And now I'm going to have not, oops, that's wrong. It's not not A, excuse me. Okay, it's going to be A, not B. As I move from here to here, I check to be sure, did only one thing change? Yes, I have not A, not B, I have A, not B. As I compare here to here, do I have only one thing changing? I do, only one thing. So that's a good start for me.